Welcome back to the Monday Tips. Let's talk about throwaway Java classes in those cases where you want to create a Java class because you want to experiment with something but don't necessarily want to have a Java class checked into your source code. Now, I talked about this before, but in IntelliJ, you have the concept of scratch files. So files that only live in memory, they get actually they actually get saved when you close the IDE, but it's just a memory file that doesn't live in your project and doesn't get committed to your repository. So when you create one, a new Java one, you'll see you also have a public static void main method. So you can write code here and execute your scratch, which is quite nice. So it's a nice little throwaway class. You can use it for whatever you want if you want to experiment with something. But then you can also use library code inside of your scratch. Now I've got quite a few libraries here, external libraries added to my project. Let's see if there's a library with a string utils class. There's quite a few. I'll just pick the top one. Um, add asterisk looks like uh, it could be something that we want to use. So hopefully it does what I want it to do. So let's say that is my uh, hello here. And then I'll just print it out to the console. And that obviously should just read one. Probably adding an asterisk here. Let's try that. And what you can see now is that even though my code compiles in the editor window, I get a compile error in the console saying arg h2 util, the string utils class does not exist. And that's because by default, the uh, scratch has no class path. So when you edit the run configuration, you'll see here you have your scratch here, use class path of module, and there's no module specified. And now you need to find out which module the dependency belongs to. I know H2 is a test dependency for my sub project called project, a bit stupid. But when I pick that now, right, main class already exists with a scratch. That's because I've tried that a couple of times. And let's run scratch 2222. And then you see hello equals. And now here is my asterisk edit. So I could even use dependencies. And, um, that is already everything I wanted to show you. Really quick and helpful feature that I myself could have used a lot in the past because sometimes I used to check in classes which didn't have anything to do with the project, just with me trying to experiment with something. So check it out. If you have any other questions or want to see specific topics covered, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you next Monday with the next trick.